Hi Aries, the Awakened Dreamer here to give you your weekly tarot reading for the week of March 8th to the 14th, 2021. And I do want to take this moment to remind you as always to like this video, leave me a comment and subscribe to this lovely channel if you haven't already. And when subscribing, don't forget that little notification bell. And um, when meditating on your energy overall for the week, the message that came through was regaining your strength. Regaining your strength. And um, interestingly enough, the song that Spirit chose to speak upon your week on Shuffle was Color by the Main. And um, that'll be at the bottom of the description box if you'd like to listen for yourself. But the lines that stood out were, Tell me everything. We'll be all right. Walk this way with me into the light because you can let it slide, baby, just for tonight. Just know that every everyone feels broken sometimes. And there's a feeling that, you know, of course, most songs these days can be taken in a romance love direction. But for you, I feel like this is, and it can be, but for the majority of you, I feel like this is about you feeling a little bit broken at this time or recently. Feeling like, like excuse me, like life has gotten the best of you a bit or has just um, stripped away a bit of that beautiful airy strength within you. And so, so naturally it's a week where you're regaining your beautiful strength, all right? Let's start off by pulling a message or two from the Starseed Oracle deck. And keep in mind, general weekly read for the sign of Aries. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't, and check out your other placements uh, in your chart for more messages. Alrighty, to begin this weekly read for our lovely Aries. From March 8th to the 14th, 2021. Thank you, Spirit. For Aries. Okay. Big picture thinking. Excuse me if you could hear that. Big picture thinking. Pleiades energy, visionary, inspired ideas. As a reminder throughout the week, uh, in one way, shape, or form, that you, Aries, have amazing creative ideas, that you could literally run with them and, you know, end up being so successful. But there's also a need for you to step back and look at the big picture of your situation, all right? Look at the big picture of your future and how it's unraveling and how it's meant to. Moving on, we have the You Got the Love card. Um... Hadarian energy, uh, codependency, boundaries. Interesting. Interesting. And there's a feeling that there will also be a highlight on the love in your life or the lack of which, all right? Um, at times I feel like you're surrounded by more love and more support than you give yourself credit for. Um, there was a, a support system card at the bottom of the deck, but we won't show it. There's also a feeling that you're thinking about throughout this week while regaining that beautiful strength of yours. What situations, what relationships, connections need more um, boundaries instilled? And then inner earth, you'll survive this new solutions and beginnings. Nice. Reminding you that everything you've been through, you've survived it, right? You've only become stronger and wiser because of it in the end. And whatever you're going through this week, whatever... It feels like you still have to overcome it. You'll get through it. You'll survive it. There are new beginnings. There are fresh starts um, on the horizon for you. It, more importantly, new creative solutions, I feel like, will start coming to you easily. So don't fret. We're going to continue by pulling seven tarot cards, one for each day of the upcoming week. For our lovely Aries. Thank you, Spirit. Keep them coming for our lovely Aries. Bear with me, keep them coming for Aries. What else do we have for this upcoming week? And we're gonna pull the last one right from the top of the deck. Thank you for your patience. So we're beginning the week in the spread with the Three of Wands in reverse. 
three of wands in reverse. So you begin the week, my friend, on Monday, not feeling very passionate about your future or your situation in general, not feeling like planning for what's ahead. You're just not feeling very optimistic. There's a need for you to take a step back. I'm seeing the hangman or hangwoman in my mind's eye for you to adjust your perspective, to see things from a different light, from a more positive light, all right? You're allowing certain past situations that weren't ideal to cloud your judgment or your view of what's ahead. But we're moving on to the Seven of Wands. And so you make your way to Tuesday and you are feeling like a lot of people are coming at you, all right? Or maybe it feels like you have a lot of work situations to deal with. It just feels like you can never get a chance to catch your breath. Simply feeling overwhelmed when it comes to Tuesday. And you naturally put up what feels like an ex uh, a bubble around you, you know, a protective bubble to protect whatever strength you have left at this time or to protect your inner peace or maybe to regain that strength, to regain that inner peace within. A very hermit vibe is coming through with this card. I'm hearing, uh, just leave me alone, honestly. But anyways, we're moving on to the Ace of Pentacles. Beautiful card to get for Wednesday. We're going to clarify this one. What do we have for this Ace of Pentacles for Wednesday for Aries? All right, my friends, so we got the Chariot. So a new opportunity is coming to you when it comes to Wednesday. A new job, a new uh, business opportunity, something of which that's connected to your finances. That'll benefit your finances in one way, shape, or form. It, it's a direct gift from the universe to open your eyes to what's possible, to uplift you once again, to initiate or help you move forward to regain that strength once again. I mean, remember with this inner card, inner earth card, uh, we were talking about new solutions and new beginnings, boom. And see, if you were just able to kind of keep a little more positive, see the brighter side of things, it was coming soon enough, all right? And so it's all in an effort to turn this upright so that you're ready to plan for what's ahead once again, ready to make the best out of this opportunity and hop on that chariot. But we're moving on to the Four of Cups. And so you make your way to Thursday and you obviously took a little bit of time to think about this offer, to think about this new opportunity beginning. And bear with me. And it, it just feels like you're not feeling it. Not about it. We're going to pull another clarifier card for this one. What do we have for this Four of Cups for Aries? Ooh, this is different, my friend. My apologies. So it feels like a lot of you will be, the majority of you will be quick to accept this offer. All right? Ready to make more money. But when it comes to uh, Thursday, excuse me, there's an offer coming in. With this two of cups, it's a connection. Whether it's a soul connection, a lover, a past lover, you name it. But with the death card, it's this message coming in or this offer from them that just ends up being a... It ends up being the ending to the situation altogether, all right? Whoever this was, wasn't healthy for you. And you can intuitively feel it, even if you ignored those red flags or that gut feeling uh, once upon a time, all right? I'm hearing what, what, excuse me, I'm hearing what once was is no longer. Very interesting. The high priestess to move right along. So make sure you trust your intuition, my friend, just saying. So the high priestess, <clears throat> you make your way to uh, Friday and you're feeling very intuitive, very serious. They're saying on Friday when your intuition, your mind is just on point, 
when you're feeling a lot clearer, when it feels like maybe, you know, a, a weight was just truly lifted off your shoulders by um, foreseeing this connection or lack of which coming to an end. Utilize that intuition, that strong mind of yours to view things in a different light once again, to understand that there is a lot to look forward to, a lot to plan for. All right. I mean, my goodness, you were given a reminder by uh, having this opportunity presented to you. Okay. Also, use your intuition, my friend, when it comes to, once again, when it comes to certain connections, um, allowing yourself to learn from what you've been through and make better judgment calls moving forward. Instilling boundaries when you know you need to. And we're moving on to the King of Swords. And look who's regained their strength, my friend. Feeling much better when it comes to the weekend. Feeling uh, more like you. Also feeling very honest. It's almost like you come back to life and it's like everything that you were you should have said earlier on in the week or previously when you were feeling a bit down or lacking that strength. It's just like, oh, okay, I need to tell everybody how I feel. Spirit's saying, slow your roll. Slow your roll. Feeling at the Seven of Wands. We get it. A lot of people are coming at you with their opinions, their way of viewing your situation, or maybe some conflict or whatever the case may be. But, you know, take it step by step, you know, to let all of that out at once is going to be a messy situation. Again, utilize that knowledge you've gained over time to proceed in a smart way. And we're finishing off the week in the spread with the Queen of Pentacles. And you finish off the week feeling very confident, feeling more content, feeling less like at times you maybe throughout the week felt like you were going to explode from all the conflict or stress or just whatever it may be for you. But if, there's a feeling that you between for the weekend in general, you are feeling that much stronger or just maybe along the week, whatever's transpired allows you to kind of move past certain emotions, certain struggles. Uh, once again, creative solutions coming to light. Being aligned with the Ace of Pentacles, they're saying, and this is a direct result of this opportunity cut I came in. All right, allow for this fresh start, this beginning when it comes to your career finances to push you into this ultra confident way of being where your chin is high up in the air, um, allowing you to yeah, move forward in a more confident way. They're trying to make sure that you don't forget that strength once again, or um, trying to make sure that it stays with you moving forward to best take advantage of what's ahead. Beautiful. Let's finish off this uh, wonderful reading by pulling a message or two from the Find Your Happy deck. For Aries, thank you, Spirit. Every next level of my life demands a different version of me. Absolutely. You are changing, my friend. You are growing, evolving um, who, into who you're meant to be. And whether people around you can see that, accept it or not, it's happening. It's who you're meant to be. So just embrace that. Be one with it. Okay? And um, as you obviously step into a new chapter. And then my future starts today. That it does, my friend. Remembering that you can start today. Planning, getting ready, getting excited about what's ahead. Okay? All right, Aries, so I hope this reading was truly helpful. Don't forget to like this video. Um, leave me a comment and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I hope you have the most amazing week and I'll see you next time. Bye.